Hi everyone, so this is going to be your daily reading for November 6th, Tuesday. So, interesting, I know there's already cards out. Uh, so just to give you guys a heads up, I was recording this earlier and then something happened uh, halfway through recording. Camera did a weird thing, memory card did a weird thing. Um, so hopefully we figured it out, but this is technically take two <laughs> of today's daily reading. I didn't want to, we've already got the cards, I didn't want to like put them back and reshuffle and get a new set. That, that just felt odd to me. Um, so, just so you know, that's why there's cards already out, because this is a take two. Um, so we're just going to fill them in, and then we'll still do the tarot spread after, alright? Alright, so let's pick up where we left off. This is our rune for today. This is Soelu, the rune of wholeness. Awesome, awesome energy. Uh, when I say wholeness, what I'm really speaking to, wholeness is really this quest for self-realization. It's this thing that we, you know, seek and hunt for throughout our lives, what makes us feel complete, what makes us feel quote-unquote whole. Uh, this card also speaks to a certain degree of, let's say, expression. So it's finding, when you self-realize and you truly can see yourself honestly, and understand what it is that you want and what drives you and what's been pulling you all this time, you really get to the essence of yourself, the essence of your being. And then how do we take that essence and express it and share it and give it to the world? That's really what's encaptured in here is becoming one and being fully realized as ourself. This quest for wholeness really is just a quest of bringing us aligned with ourself. So once we get to that point, then how do we express it and share it? Sometimes that requires going within. I think a lot of times it does for a period, but it's going within to find those answers and find the essence, and then coming back out and expressing it with everyone. So awesome energy. We've been talking about self-realism. Self is that a word? It is now, I guess. Uh, the past couple days, talking about that gateway coming up, talking about shedding these old fears so we can be authentic and honest. So I think this wraps up that whole discussion we've had over the past couple of days quite nicely. And then I was talking about, uh, I used the Saint and Mystics deck for the first time. Uh, these are the two lovely cards we got. Um, I was talking about how interesting this deck is. It's written a little differently. So instead of having like a straightforward kind of answer to this card means this, when you pull this card it means that. This card really talks about the saints and mystics featured on the card and their story and what they are known for. And it's kind of how you connect to their personal story and their personal life, which I found kind of fascinating once I actually got this deck home. So these are the two cards we pulled. Marie Laveau, standing for respect. And then Saint Lucy, standing for... Is it inner strength? I can't remember now. Yes. Oh, sorry. Fierce strength, not inner strength your strength. Alright, so let me read to you what is in the book and a little history about these. We got It's funny because we got one saint and we got one mystic. Saint, mystic. So here's our saint, Saint Lucy, and then our mystic, Marie Laveau. So let me read to you from the book a little bit about them and then we'll see how we resonate to their story. All right, so Marie Laveau was a charismatic voodoo queen of New Orleans, Louisiana, who was a free woman of color during the barbaric era of the transatlantic slave trade. She was also a wise and skilled hairdresser who rose to power and notoriety with her famous public ceremonies in the Congo Square, where she devoted elaborate rituals to spiritual divinities and jeeds, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, of Haitian voodoo. Her pet snake zombie nestled around her body as she danced to the drum's beat. You guys can look at the image while I read this. While her life and death still hold uncertainty and mystery, Marie's name is equally respected and feared by many and is still an important and cherished figure of New Orleans history and culture. While seasons turn and times change, her, legend, her legends are certainly not and must never be forgotten. Emotionally, Marie assists in balancing aggression and anger and transforms toxic energies into healthy forms of passion, creativity, and strength. She makes no apologies and accepts zero excuses. She is the mother that walks you through the door, walks you towards your greatest lessons, but also gives the hardest tests. 
She will not complete work for you, but rather clear the path and set the room for your own magic to rise from its bleeding coil. Spiritually, Marie's energy activates the crown chakra, enhances channeling and mediumship abilities, and attunes one to the realm of spirits, deities, and angels. Her force is extremely fierce. And I will say, I love that she's described as fierce. And then we also have fierce strength with St. Lucy. She grants the second sight to foresee all possible solutions to situations and does not allow you to worry over small matters in life and love. Oops, sorry. Marie removes your psychic blockages and frees the heart to work more deeply in compassion and service to others, including those of your community. So I think it's funny we got wholeness, and then we also have Marie Laveau who speaks to serving out of compassion and really connecting to others, and wholeness is really about finding your essence and sharing it with others as well. She invites you to dance under the light of the full moon and celebrate life with friends, family, and community. You are summoned to remember the gods and pay respect to the magic of the spirits and our family's ancestors. Consciously, Marie Laveau empowers the importance of hard work, confidence, and pride in your foundations. Finding your essence, finding that wholeness, those are strong foundations. She reminds us to not rely on shortcuts in life and teaches you to be ho to be bold in, in your soul's unique rhythm. Never apologize for your truth or power. Marie's spirit allows you to take responsibility and pride in your life and all that your heart leads you to do. I think that being bold, I don't think my tongue tripped up <laughs> by mistake, being bold I think is really the key there. Really being authentic and honest, not caring what others are thinking, this is how I'm, this is what I'm meant to do, this is how I'm meant to create and express, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. A fiery and passionate teacher in spirit, Marie encourages the study of knowledge and placing it into practicality thoughtfully and respectfully awesome awesome energy i think it's a really i know it's for respect but it's a very proud energy i almost want to say it's not respect from others in this aspect i really think it's a respect of self you owe it to yourself to live the life you want to live to be authentic and fearless and bold because no one has a voice like yours you're you're the only one so you have no choice but to share that I think that's pretty amazing. Let me find St. Lucy, and then I will read that from the book. Beautiful. You guys can check her out. St. Lucy, also known as Lucia of Syracuse, was a young Christian martyr and venerated saint, circa 283 AD. Her father died when she was just five years of age, leaving her and her mother without a protective guardian. As she grew, Lucy vowed to consecrate her life to God and assist the poor from her own family's wealth. Lucy received visions from, saint, from saints before her. Saint Agath Agatha once appeared in her dreams. Ooh, I cannot read tonight. When her mother became ill and helped miraculously cure her mother of the illness. As an adult, Lucy was determined to keep herself romantically untouched and at one point deformed her own appearance to deter her suitor's advances. On uncovering her Christian faith, the Roman governor sentenced Lucy to forced prostitution as punishment. Ooh. But when the guards tried to carry her away, her body became as heavy as stone, and they were unable to move her. The governor, enraged, attempted to torture Lucy, once, once gouging out her eyes, only for her sight to miraculous, miraculously become restored. Oh, now I get the freaky face. Kind of sad when you think about it. He attempted to burn her alive, but the flames kept burning out, and she remained unharmed. In the end, it was the fatal blade of a knife that took Lucy's life, a finality to her long-suffering and brutal torture. Despite early official and unofficial accounts of her story, there is some debate around the mysteries of her life. She is now well-beloved as a folk saint, Aspired closely with magical work, spells, and witches. Associated. Why did I say aspired? That was interesting. Emotionally, St. Lucy releases unexpressed emotions and promotes receptivity to beauty, forgiveness, spiritual support, and guidance in life, love, and magic. Hmm. Unexpressed emotions. And here we are talking about expressing ourselves. Thank you, Miss Lucy. 
Spiritually, she restores blocked clairvoyance, removes the evil eye, and works to improve sight, both in general and spiritual. Illuminating blocks and obstacles, obscuring the path in one's life. St. Lucy works effectively in magical rituals and her strength called on to access higher spiritual realms and aid in astral travel. Consciously, she cultivates self-perseverance and determination of life and soul. She disempowers and ho all holds of negative manipulations and purifies the mind of doubts and nervous energies. She induces clear meditation and dissolves psychic interference. Amazing. So I think these two marry very, very well. You have St. Lucy who talks about removing negatively, powering through blocks, removing obstacles, healing anything that's unexpressed, helping to bring it to the surface. And then Marie Laveau who tells you to live boldly and share that and express that and live an authentic nature of your own choosing, your own divining. Together, these are two powerful energies that really just call forth your authentic self. One removing the obstacles and one just encouraging and pushing you forward. Amazing energies to consider when we talk about today's daily read. Okay, so now, before anything else crazy happens with my camera, let's pull some tarot and see how this applies to our lives today. Appreciate that, guys. All right. Oh, way more than I thought. All right. Beautiful. So we'll start at the top. Here we have the Four of Pentacles. Honestly, Brenna, when I look at this, considering our topic and what we're holding on, I think this is kind of being a little guarded, and I think possibly too guarded, maybe because of things that we already know need to be expressed, need to come to the surface, or maybe we're ashamed of in the past and kind of buried down, and now we've just become accustomed to that, and having that energy blocked and repressed. I, that's what I feel with this card, is that we're just holding on to something that really is now becoming a burden. It's, it's, we're almost becoming miser, miserly because we're just hiding and hoarding this little thing and keeping this secret. And what do we need to do? We need to speak our truth. Be authentic. Speak your truth. If there's something that you've kept hidden for a long time, now is the time to express it. Bring it up. Be bold. Be passionate. King of Wands is not someone who shies away from something that excites him. He's a very passionate, passionate ruler. If he feels something is right, he's just going to get up and do it. So he's like the master of everything. So be bold. Be fearless. Be fearless. It's literally the biggest thing. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is a great card of independence, individuality, and also like just amazing strength in that. And knowing, knowing your own worth, knowing your own power, knowing your essence. Again, the same theme. We talked about essence with Suelu. We talked about bold in our oracle cards and it's coming up again in the tarot we are truly in a moment where we are forcing ourselves and if we're not forcing ourselves the universe is forcing ourselves to truly live authentically in our own power so we can stand and be in this position of just true authentic energy living like ourselves like in this picture you can see there's this jaguar this mighty jaguar just kind of chilling and relaxing the woman in the card isn't afraid of this animal. The jaguar could tear her to pieces without even thinking about it. But she knows her worth. She knows she's strong. She's an, she knows she isn't equal to that jaguar. And so should you. You need to know your power. And then we have, right behind that we have another nine. The nine of cups. Emotional contentment and fulfillment. So knowing our worth and truly living it and believing it and being satisfied with that because we know... We are that powerful. Amazing. And considering I just did the new moon reading yesterday, 
the fact that the moon is coming up, I feel like this moon is going to be an amazing opportunity for us to manifest and to uncover. If you are on this path where you know that there's a shift, or you know there's something that you need to start expressing, and that you can't keep it hidden any longer, tomorrow's new moon may be a great moment for you to kind of set some intentions that this is going to come out. Maybe we don't know exactly how it's going to come out, maybe we don't know how to start, but set some intentions that this is the path you want to take. You know it's the right thing to do. Set some intentions on this new moon that help you get there. Honestly, just maybe even reflecting, maybe sit outside for, for a little bit, for an hour, just to kind of sit in that energy and kind of just think and process and meditate and see what kind of answers just come to you intuitively. New moon is a great time to kind of tap into your psychic energies because everything is heightened on a new moon. So I feel like some secrets can be uncovered. And it's funny because these secrets rest within you. So technically somewhere you already know the answer to these questions. Uh, maybe not consciously, but you know the answer is in there somewhere. Or maybe you just kind of aren't admitting it because you can't really face this truth yet. But I promise it is the right thing to do. You are being pulled and pushed to do it, both internally and externally. Spirit is guiding you, your own intuition, your own inner calling, your own inner voice is calling you. Exciting energy. The best thing I can say is just be authentic, be you, and be honest. Not with other people, but with yourself. If there's something you feel you need to be doing, that is exactly what you need to be doing. So trust in that. Have faith that it's all going to work out. And again, use this new moon energy to start a new path, to start some new adventures if you need that guidance. All right, everyone. I was just kind of looking at the bottom of the deck. So we have the devil here. So some addictions. I think this is repeating this pattern of thinking you have to hide something. Then queen of swords so cutting away all those false energies those false beliefs not worth it and then five of cups you've got some feeling of regret and some sadness so i think hoarding this has caused you a lot of pain something you're definitely worried about and causes you some anxiety just put those intentions out there set some new goals put it out there let the universe kind of process it and feed you the opportunity and you will find success the sun card i mean this card never has a positive meaning so lots of good is waiting it's just asking for you to show up be present and be you i can't top that that's going to be that'll be our reading for today just be bold be fearless walk your walk your walk talk your talk live your truth and just be out there be bold and don't be ashamed of whatever it is you have to like, bring to the table have a great day, everyone. I'm going to continue filming the monthly readings. They will be up hopefully maybe by the end of this week. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, have a great day. Be bold. And I wish you the best. See you.